Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Jeff Van Gundy. Jeffrey William. Jeff Van Gundy is an American basketball coach and TV analyst. He is a color commentator for ESPN. He has previously been the head coach of the New York Knicks and the Houston Rockets in the National Basketball Association. Early Life Vin Gundy was born in Hemet, California. He grew up in the town of Martinez, California. He is the son of a basketball coach, Bill Van Gundy, the former head coach at Brockport State University and at Genesee Community College. Jeff's older brother, Stan, later became head coach of the NBA's Miami Heat and Orlando Magic and is currently the head coach and director of basketball operations for the Detroit Pistons. As a high school point guard, he was a two-time All-Greater Rochester selection in 1979 and 1980, leading Brockport Central to the Class RR Finals. He continued his career at Nazareth College, where he earned All-American honors while leading the Golden Flyers to an NCAA Division III tournament berth in 1984. He remains the Nazareth career leader in free throw percentage at 86.8%. Van Gundy attended Yale University before transferring to Menlo College and ultimately graduated from New York's Nazareth College in 1985. Early career Van Gundy began his basketball coaching career during the 1985-86 season at McQuaid Jesuit High School in Rochester, New York. The following year, he became a graduate assistant under Rick Pitino at Providence College, helping the Providence Friars advance to the Final Four. In his second season, with the Friars he was promoted to assistant coach under Gordon Chiesa. The next season, Vin Gundy became an assistant coach under Bob Wenzel at Rutgers. New York Knicks On July 28, 1989, Van Gundy became assistant coach for the New York Knicks. The next six and a half seasons were spent providing support to Knicks coaches Stu Jackson, John McLeod, Pat Riley and Don Nelson. During his tenure as an assistant coach, the Knicks won three Atlantic Division titles, never finished lower than third in the division, and qualified for the playoffs every year. The Knicks advanced to the Eastern Conference Finals in 1993 and the NBA Finals versus the Houston Rockets in 1994. On March 8, 1996, Vin Gundy was named head coach of the New York Knicks, taking over the reins from Don Nelson. In his second game as coach, he notably led the Knicks to a 32-point blowout win over the Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls, who had eliminated the Knicks from the playoffs four times since 1989. Vin Gundy was unable to change that trend in the postseason, as the Knicks fell to Chicago in the conference semi-finals. In his first full season as coach, the Knicks tied for the third-best record in franchise history at 57-25. In the regular season finale, the Knicks defeated the 69-12 Chicago Bulls in Chicago, preventing them from posting two consecutive 70-win seasons in a row and tying the best home record in NBA history. Vin Gundy created a memorable scene in the 1998 NBA playoffs series between the New York Knicks and the Miami Heat, when the Heat's center Alonzo Mourning and the Knicks' forward Larry Johnson engaged in a bench-clearing brawl. Van Gundy unsuccessfully tried to break the fight up. Most memorably, the Van Gundy fell to the floor and clung to Morning's leg. Suspensions from the brawl helped Miami overcome New York's 3-1 series lead to win, and started a rivalry between the teams. 
In the lockout-shortened 1998-99 season, the Knicks struggled with injuries and finished 27-23 to finish as the eighth seed for the playoffs. In the first round of the playoffs, the Knicks defied expectations and defeated the Heat in five games, avenging the previous season's playoff loss and becoming just the second eighth seed to defeat the number one seed in the playoffs. The win propelled an improbable run for the Knicks, as they swept the Hawks in the semi-finals and defeated the Pacers in six games to advance to the NBA Finals. Without Ewing, they were no match in the finals against Spurs and lost the series in five games. The Knicks were the first eighth-seeded team in NBA history to reach the NBA Finals. The Knicks followed up their finals run with a 50-32 season, and advanced to the Conference Finals, where they were defeated by the Indiana Pacers. Until the 2013 playoffs, this was the last time the Knicks won a playoff series. In a 2001 game between the Spurs and Knicks, Danny Ferry elbowed Marcus Camby. While talking to the referee, Camby lost control and tried to punch Ferry. Camby missed and hit Van Gundy instead, who said he learned his lesson about trying to break up fights between players. The Knicks finished 48-34, but lost in the first round to the Raptors. Just 19 games into the 2001-02 season, Van Gundy resigned as coach. The move was unexpected, as the Knicks were on a winning streak and coming off a 14-point victory against the Milwaukee Bucks. The move sent the Knicks into a decade-long free fall, as they did not post another winning season until 2010-11. Houston Rockets on June 10, 2003, Van Gundy was named head coach of the Houston Rockets. Replacing Rudy Tomjanovic, the Rockets finished 45-37 and qualified for the playoffs for the first time in five years, but were eliminated in the first round of the playoffs by the Los Angeles Lakers. In his second season with the Rockets, Van Gundy guided the team, led by the Yao Ming, Tracy McGrady duo to a 51-31 record, which was their first season with more than 50 wins in eight years. The Rockets once again lost in the first round of the playoffs, this time to the Dallas Mavericks. McGrady and Yao missed a combined 70 games due to injury in the 2005-06 season, and Van Gundy did not make the playoffs for the first time in his career. In May 2005, Van Gundy was fined $100,000 by the NBA for accusing referees of targeting Houston Rockets center Yao Ming. Van Gundy blamed Dallas Mavericks owner Mark Cuban for causing the referee's alleged bias. This is the largest fine handed down to a coach in NBA history. On May 18, 2007, he was fired from that position after the team's Game 7 first-round playoff loss to the Utah Jazz. The injuries and disappointments continued for the Rockets into the following season, with Ming limited to just 48 games and McGrady not fully recovered from his injuries. The Rockets went on a late-season run on the back of a resurgence from McGrady but another first-round playoff loss, this time to the Utah Jazz, sealed Van Gundy's fate. At the conclusion of their decisive Game 7 loss, Van Gundy was fired and replaced by Rick Adelman. Broadcasting career Following his firing from the Rockets in 2007, Van Gundy was a guest analyst for ESPN's broadcast of the Phoenix Suns San Antonio Spurs game in San Antonio, Texas and has since been a broadcaster for ESPN. He now calls many basketball games as a color commentator, with play-by-play -play announcer Mike Breen and Mark Jackson, including the NBA Finals. 
Life Outside Basketball Jeff Van Gundy is an executive board member of ProVision, a Houston charter school and non-profit organization in Houston that provides educational, job training, and mentoring services to boys and girls aged 10 to 18. Van Gundy's older brother is Stan Van Gundy, currently the head coach and president of basketball operations for the Detroit Pistons. On May 8, 2011, Van Gundy received an honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters from his alma mater, Nazareth College, during the college's 84th annual commencement ceremony. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.